I don't know if you've re seen this, but as soon as a, a lady goes into the bathroom and uses the hand dryer, the lights go out. <laughs> Have you seen this? Yeah. 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 So if you see a lady going into the bathroom and she comes out and the lights didn't go out, dirty bitch. <laughs> <laughs> So this week is pretty much about one show, even though I'm doing more. But on Friday night, I am doing Greenwich Comedy Club again, Greenwich Village Comedy Club. And it's a, it's a talent competition uh, held by the New York 360 Festival. So whoever wins gets to perform in that festival. A new haircut, great. I feel uh, like a new man. I look more like a boy, but I could use that. I'm almost 43. Could you use a bit of boyish look? I'm going through my jokes again, and um, I just kind of created a system that I think works for me at least, which is sort of, um, um, I'm call it, calling it the traffic light system. Uh, which is green, yellow, and red. And uh, because I'm writing so many jokes, I don't really know what's funny and which ones to work on and which ones to throw away and which ones that are actually really good. So that's why I do this system. So green is for go. Yellow is for stop or wait and look, at, look more at them. And red is like, no, don't do them. They're not good enough, throw them away. So it looks a bit like this. Um, as you can see, so I'm gonna uh, go through all the jokes I've written lately. Of all the gigs I've done in New York these three weeks, this is by far the one which is furthest away. Um, I've been traveling for about an hour to go to this gig. And it's so funny uh, that I'm still, you know, optimistic, I'm positive, I'm happy, and I'm doing five minutes. I mean, if this was Sweden, Back home, if someone would ask me, you, you wanna go an hour to do five minutes and you don't get paid, actually you're paying, I uh, would probably laugh. But now I'm not laughing, but hopefully the audience will. Um, but I got a long way to go. I just got off the uh, train and I have about 20 minutes to go. So, but that's good, because that just gives me time to rehearse out loud, which is no problem in New York, because there's so many crazy fucking people that talk to themselves all the time. And uh, what I love, I don't know if you've re seen this, but as soon as a, a lady goes into the bathroom and uses the hand dryer, the lights go out. <laughs> Have you seen this? Yeah. yeah. So if you see a lady going into the bathroom and she comes out and the lights didn't go out, dirty bitch. <laughs> <laughs> being a Swedish comedian, it's like being a skinny American. <laughs> we do exist, but there is not many of us. <laughs> Three, to be precise. <laughs> so one of the first things I did in New York was I took a seminar. I thought, like, I need to know about the New York comedy scene to even have a chance to kind of break the matrix, to, 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 to understand wh who I'm performing for. So I took the seminar, and uh, a New York comic, he's been performing for 16 years, comes out and goes like, okay, who here wants to be a comic? 
And we're all raising our hands. We really pass. And he goes, okay, who here's got hobbies? And I think like, okay, he's probably asking because we need to do materials. I think it's a good thing. So I say, I do. He said, you don't anymore. <laughs> like, what? He said, you married to comedy now. He said, if you want to break into to the New York comedy scene, you work 11 gigs a night, simultaneously. <laughs> <laughs> and if you, you write every day. You write when you're sleeping. You write when you're awake. You write when you're fucking handcuffed. <laughs> you do that for 15 years. Traffic, traffic. <laughs> if you do that for 50 years, then maybe, maybe, if another comedian dies, <laughs> You will make five bucks in the government in Idaho before tax. <laughs> Thinking to myself, I don't hope this is the laughing Buddha himself. <laughs> because then I don't want to meet the rest of the crew. But you've been a lovely audience, and uh, we're never going to see each other again. <laughs> but my name is Tim Morton Anderson. Thank you very much.